Hey guys, let's get into your reading. If you're new, smash that like button and do subscribe. Welcome back. Um, we're going to take a look at the rest of August to see what messages. You're already starting off here with camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. Okay, let's see. And one more for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Personal reading link is in the description box below. Okay, heart with a key and keys on a ring. Jeez. Okay, welcoming love, meeting the one. Uh, many options, having decision. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on. So heart with a key, welcoming love, opening your heart, getting together, things feeling pretty perfect. So yeah, there's an and. An, an, an energy of meeting someone or opening your heart again feeling that loving energy coming in flowing in and out of your heart let's take a look and see hmm so you might just be kind of thinking about it you know like contemplating should you open your heart up again um let me see should you seek love okay there is a king of wands showing up masculine or feminine fire energy okay Someone, I do feel like you're going to meet somebody and the energy that plays out with this person is they are, once they meet you, there's kind of like this waiting or this hesitation, contemplating if they should reach out to you. So fire energy, Aries Leo, Sag. Let's see. Why is this King of Wands in kind of like contemplation about your connection or meet or what's the deal? Oh, wow. It's a lot of hesitation. Hmm. So, yeah, I feel like there's somebody here who's got, um, they've been hurt before. It feels like there's this desire to connect with you. Um, but they're waiting. There's like this, I feel like this person is waiting to hear from you waiting for you to so you might have met somebody or you will meet someone where you might be like hmm huh, you want to get together but you're not sure and maybe you tell them that you know um there's something here about being like there's like some hesitation maybe virgo you've had some heartbreak or something or you're just like in this wounded thing maybe you're trying to heal before giving someone or, or pursuing or allowing someone to pursue you. Let's see. There's a, and I feel like it's too, I feel like, so this King of Wands energy is going to be like, what's going on with Virgo? You know, like, what's the deal? I feel like they sense that you might be a little ambivalent to meet up or connect with them, but why? Mm. so much blocking and hesitation so it's either you or this person okay there's so much like oh my gosh it's not so much it could be apathy but there's like somebody wants a long-term relationship but i feel like in august there's yeah there is definitely somebody does want a long-term relationship traditional conventional expectation for a long-term relationship but there's there's hesitancy about opening up the heart whether that's you or this person there's definitely hesitancy before getting together it feels like you know kind of like uh, i don't know someone's not sure if, if someone's not sure if they should open themselves up to be pursued or if they should pursue Look at that. Weighing options, I'm telling you. You have someone, Virgo, who's going to be significant. It's a fire sign. It's going to be significant in your life. It doesn't mean they're going to be... I just mean out of everybody else, they're going to be at the forefront. It doesn't mean it's a significant relationship or anything like that. I just feel like... Somebody, I feel like there's a fire sign that wants to connect with you and get together with you, but they're waiting. 
they're weighing things out here. You know, I don't feel like this fire sign is going to give up. I feel like they definitely want this to, to meet up with you in some way connect with you and maybe see if there's something here that can go somewhere but they're waiting they are they're 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 not sure what to do if they should pursue you or not uh, let me just i want to get a little more clarifying energy a little clarity on you what's going on with you because i did kind of feel like you were maybe hesitant to let's see Hmm, you are the page of swords. So you're curious, or you will be curious about this person. You're kind of, I feel like you're, yeah, see, you're out, you're apathetic to it as, as well. So I don't know if it's the chicken or the egg, which came first, I'm not sure. This person might have reached out to you and you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Or you're reaching out to them and they're like, oh, I'm not so sure. There's definitely some walking on eggshells energy or at least tiptoeing around something here. What is the overall reason? Maybe it's long distance and there's ambivalence in regards to long distance relationship. Or there's this like, I wonder if this could actually go somewhere. Um, I feel like it's both of you are kind of like, do you want to get back on that wagon again and you know, in, my, in dating life and pursue? I don't know. Is somebody just like tired? <sighs> There's definitely a new chapter starting. And so there is some lessons that are being learned. Yeah, you know, I just get the sense that there's there's someone else this, there's a fire sign where a chapter needs to be completed on, on their end and on your end before the key can be put in the heart lock to unlock it, okay? Um, so it feels mostly like in August there's this ambivalence in regards to mm, getting into something right away. There's a little bit of like tiptoeing there's a there's a lot of hesitancy you know and I feel like there's a mirroring energy so when one person is being hesitant the other person's being hesitant do you know what I mean yeah so I mean it's it's not necessarily bad there's there's great potential for two people to come together but there's some I don't know if it's because of a distance or if there's just this need to Be prepared. That's what the world is to me. I feel like there's this, someone's trying to complete a lesson or come to some kind of completion to close the door on a past situation. Somebody's still looking back on a past situation, slightly, not driving forward, looking in the rear view, but just kind of glancing up still. Okay, so there is that energy, but I feel like that's fine. <laughs> when it's time to welcome new love into your life then that's when it's time okay it's never time just because you feel like it needs to be forced right and if there's a feeling of like desperation or need that's definitely not the right time never go grocery shopping when you're hungry right all right so but there is someone i do feel who is either going to approach you in august this fire sign sun moon rising or venus or they already have and it's kind of plateaued right kind of plateaued it's like hmm, or it will plateau for a little bit and it's like yeah just give me some time that's what i'm hearing two people just like you know, one person saying give me some time the other person saying okay but it's still it's just a delay it's just a little bit of a delay now usually the world in reverse would be like a full-on delay but i feel because there's some unfinished lessons but i feel like the delay is going to lift. So things are going to start definitely moving forward in August. Okay, so maybe towards the end of the month, closer to the end of the month where, where it's like, okay, I finished out this thing and let's let's do it. That's what I feel like is happening. Okay, so camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. So someone's got your pictures. There's a reminiscing, two people reminiscing on some past photos so let's take a look here 
Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay, so so okay, so it's a passing kind of thing, is what I'm hearing. It's like a passing kind of remember when things were good, I'm hearing. Somebody's reminiscing about the good times. It could be you. Like I said, these roles could be reversed. But somebody here is reminiscing about the good times and thinking about, oh, they're just giving me, oh, they're giving me a song. This is a country song, Rascal Flats. Um, oh, I can't remember. What hurts the most? And then they're giving me Whitney Houston, Didn't We Almost Have It All. Okay, those two songs. Like, boom. And I'm not singing them. <laughs> so... Yeah, I kind of feel like um, it's like passing memories, fleeting memories of when times were good and how something has ended, okay? So there's looking at pictures. It's like, remember when this, it, I feel like it might be part of um, a letting go process. Yeah, because that wheel is like, you know, it's, it's a wheel. Wheels were built to move. Wheels were built to roll. Okay, there's a kind of a turning point. It's like, oh, you know, the how lucky we were to come together, that two of wands, how we were just right at the precipice of moving something forward, okay? Um, so I don't really know how long there was a relationship there, but somebody's definitely going through the motions. Um, and if we're going to talk about another person here, there is someone who's really full of anxiety because... I feel like someone was another person's wish come true, okay? And there's a lot of stress and anxiety because all, all we have left is photographs. <laughs> there you go, Def Leppard. Remember that song, Photograph? I remember riding my bike when I was like 13 with my best friend. We were riding bike and singing that song. <laughs> I sang the whole song, riding my bike all the way into town. I love that song. But yeah, that's what they're giving me, photograph. I don't want your photograph. All I've got is a photograph. I just want to touch you. Okay. Yeah, there's some kind of heartbreak. Something's over. Somebody's reminiscing. There's an end of the struggle here. Somebody's keeping your photographs as a memory of the good times. There's no, I don't know. It's not necessarily there's hard feelings. There's a lesson learning from the past here. Somebody's keeping your photographs as a keepsake. You haven't been forgotten. I feel like that's a, a message here. Two or two people have not forgotten about it. There's no forgetting about each other. I'll tell you that. If, if whoever is listening and, and feels like, oh, this, is this person going to forget about me? Uh, the, the person that I loved or that I was like, no, there's no, they're keeping your photos. They're, uh, they're, they, or you're keeping theirs or two people are either one and there's oh praying there's a little bit of praying here um, and retreating and hoping for to come back together you and this person might be separated from each other okay Um, I feel like whoever this person is, who's, who's, they, they might be wondering if you're going to forget about them or fearing that I have great anxiety and stress about that. I feel like this person wants you to come back to them. Um, but in a healthier way where you both can get on the same page, but there is some kind of temporary separation right now in August where there is withdrawal or, um, it could be like abandonment or moving on, or there's definitely a retreating energy and someone's there's there's an element of sadness and i feel like when i was saying about the photograph it's like all i have are your photographs all i have are these pictures okay all i have are these pictures yeah so it looks like it's king of cups cancer scorpio pisces water energy sun moon rising or venus okay so i feel like there's you know, you could be doing this too. Let's just keep this in mind. There must be some kind of separation or something or two people who are 
you know, in withdrawal mode and reminiscing. There's, there's a bit of anxiety and stress um, about not having emotional fulfillment or those needs met, okay? So yeah, that's the energy. So if, if, if it's you, Virgo, and you're worried that somebody's forgetting about you, I don't feel like you're easily forgotten by somebody. And if, if you're if you're the one, um, I'm going to take that back, okay? Because it just disappeared. <laughs> uh, two people are just not easily forgotten, right? That's all I can say. I I'm just going to leave that there, okay? Keys on a ring. Many options, decision could be uh, an unconventional relationship, string along one eight stand, okay? Hmm. Oh, the Emperor, Queen of Cups. All right, so um, they're giving me this rebound energy. Somebody's rebounding. They're trying to soothe their pain. So when I say rebounding, right, we all know that rebounding in a relationship with another person in order to not have to deal with their issues or just to get those good feelings, those re rebound relationships are always temporary. But temporary could be five or ten years. Temporary could be three months. There's no way to know for sure. Um, there is a rebound energy, okay, happening here for somebody where they are trying to trying to get strong and get their confidence back by. Um, I feel like it's. I feel like it's, I don't feel like it's you because we're seeing you over here who, where I felt like for you, Virgo, you're kind of like, eh, I just need a little time. But there's somebody else here who's doing this whole rebound, keeping their options open, uh, rebounding with another person, maybe who have children or a child. Um, the whole purpose of this is to feel like a boss. Yeah, it's very, it's very hasty. It's a very hasty reaction to deal with some, anybody who has one night stands, and I, I don't want to offend anybody who's doing this. Please don't think that if it's you, and I'm not trying to call you out. I just want to say that one night stands can be very unhealthy. And, and that's just a fact, you know, because it's just an element of two people using each other, right? Um, it's, it's an element of not being really connected to your soul. You're disconnected from your heart, your emotions, yourself. When you're doing one night stands, it's like a one trick pony kind of energy. It's like getting a quick hit like an addict does, you know? And I know everybody does not everybody. I know some people partake in that. And I'm not trying to... I understand that some people who have like avoidant tendencies and or anxiety tendencies, like I get it. Like, I totally get it. it there's, it's a judgment-free zone here. But I feel like there could be a one-night stand that's happening or a string along or a rebound thing with someone who's not a typical... Uh, desire, right? There's somebody here who's rebounding with someone or a lot of different people in a very unconventional way. Unconventional means it's like, it's like very rebellious way. Yeah. And, and the reason for it is, like I said, trying to, and it could be a water sign or uh, they could be rebounding with a water sign or this is a water sign who's rebounding. And it's just a way to soothe some inner turmoil or some health, health like issues with it, mental type. So it's very hasty. The Knight of Swords, like, charge. You know what I mean? Um, it could be somebody here is rebounding. And, you know, it's not always rebounding with another person. Rebounds can happen when, when we're not sitting with ourselves in the quiet and just sitting with our emotions and allowing ourselves to feel things so that we can like acknowledge them and do the self-care and, and work through our emotions and our feelings, come out on the healthy side. Sometimes people will rebound with their credit card um, or they go on shopping sprees or they just do these unconventional things to try to make themselves feel better. That's what's happening here.
<clears throat> rather than you know confront the confront and resolve problems within the self or deal with inner conflict could be you virgo or somebody's running away from you and that's how they're handling their issues okay and you might know about it virgo and i think you might see that somebody's doing that or they've done that and it's very it's very deceiving it's like but you, it's kind of like you virgo like <laughs> there's this thing i saw it's really hard for someone who knows a lot about psychology to be mad at others <laughs> when you know that they're dealing with psychological issues right i feel like you know what's happening here or at least you will come to understand what another person is doing okay they're going wild they're going buck wild, running away. They're, they're causing chaos in their own lives. There's a lot of self-sabotage. You might know this. You might, because I feel like for you, you're, you might see how they're acting. Maybe you look at the credit card bill, you know, and you're like, oh, look what they're doing. Or, you know, maybe somebody's having a midlife crisis. So they're just, maybe you see somebody who's just rebounding with another person. It's like, you just kind of look at it like, you mm. know very logically and sensibly <clears throat> that's kind of what i feel like is going on here and you see the deception like you can see virgos are pretty good at seeing right through the the veil definitely they can see they can really cut through to the truth of the matter without any like fancy uh derailments they're just like nah that, that's pretty much what it is okay it's a very hasty kind of energy and, and Virgo you might even see it in yourself if you're doing it you know you might do you might be like wait a minute I'm I'm spending too much or asking yourself doing that stuff like why am I doing this what's going on within me that I'm acting this way or that I'm spending too much or I'm not dealing with my emotions you might decide like for yourself like I'm just gonna sit and just reflect a little bit um, before I dig myself into a hole here if you if you were involved with someone that treated you like a one night stand or they were stringing you along you could be you could very well find yourself in august um rebounding from that part of you though i feel like it's not gonna be there might be one person but then you're you might be like and eh, that's what stops you from moving forward with this person because you're doing that self-check here like oh i better not uh, i better not i'm not ready remember i was saying right so the readings kind of going in reverse so i feel like virgo if you feel like you are in a position here where you're just like you might self-sabotage you know sometimes people we know like the way they deal with the hurt and pain they punish themselves you know um subconsciously because they're, they're struggling because that eight of swords there's a feeling of like ugh feel so imprisoned by my own thoughts you know um i don't know it's getting deep i don't why are we having these deep readings this week <laughs> what's going on it's only monday <laughs> can we do can we just get out of this maybe maybe tomorrow i'll take a break from these these in-depth type readings and just maybe we'll just try to stick with very basic predictions i don't know what's going on i feel like um you know, but, but overall, I feel like it's good because it, I do kind of get a sense that you're very intuitive and you're, you're trusting your intuition, you're trusting your gut, you're, you're doing what you need to do for yourself, or at least you come to that place where it's like, you know, I'm all right with a little me time. Maybe I'm better off alone for now, right? Maybe that's the situation. I don't see you waiting on anybody, though. I don't feel like you're, like, waiting and hoping and praying. Maybe some of you are, but I don't really see, I see you more focused on yourself. I do. I do. So, you know, if you're having a hard time, if you're going through the motions of some kind of situation and it's difficult for you and you're kind of like in between, in between, um, number one, you're not forgotten. Number two, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do with anybody. You do what feels best for you. Um, if you feel like you're spending too much or you're, you're acting in haste, in regards to something in order to try to find a way to function or it's a coping mechanism you might come to realize you know sometime in august 
You know, like you're waking up in the middle of the night and going and grab a, ba a bag of candy because you had a bad dream. That's not that's not a healthy way to deal with it, right? So you might be, you're going through some changes for sure. And, lots, and other people are. You also have fast changes. Look at that. Uh, your message here is go with the flow. Um, you might be leaving a job suddenly or getting one very quickly or your work may change dramatically in a short time. And these, I don't feel like these are things that are just going to happen out of nowhere. Um, I feel like there might be a running or a desire to just get out of something very quickly so that you don't have to deal with it. But, you know, it's going to come back. It always comes back to haunt you. If you don't make the changes now within yourself behaviorally, with starting with your thoughts and then your words and your actions towards yourself, you'll just keep repeating the same thing. So be careful of, of sweeping fast changes. You also have star power. You need engaging work that will let your talent shine. You are a natural actor and influencer. You attract fame and fortune. Yeah, um, so I kind of feel like overall that star power message is you need to engage yourself in something healthy, whether that's work, hobbies, certain actions, things like that. Um, don't run away, but maybe just get yourself engaged in something positive. You also have relationships, business partners, office, love affairs, and communication with coworkers. Coworkers are highlighted now. Make choices with extreme care. Whoa. I feel like you're definitely going to be doing that, going kind of slow or rethinking something. Some of you might be tempted to get into a relationship or get involved, have an affair with um, someone in your work as a way to disconnect from anything that's uncomfortable. You also have ups and downs. Your work has potential for both advancement and stagnation. See if there's hope, but allow yourself to move on if needed. Yeah, these are mostly finances, but you also have freedom. You need to have more flexibility with your schedule and income. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. So a little bit of time off, I feel like might be what you need is like a break to do a, a clean reset. That's the biggest message I'm getting. You need a break. You don't need to run. You don't need to change I always like to say any changes you make, if, if, they're, if the intentions of those changes are to get away from the stress that you're feeling, wherever you go, your mind and your heart go with you. The best way to overcome those things is to maybe get a little rest, do some reflection, and um, perhaps leave something be. You know, and then start to make some changes within yourself so you can get free from those things. External things never change anything. They give you a reprieve, but they're not, it's not a permanent thing. Okay, there is a relationship that could be moving towards a sacred union or marriage, but it's going to require forgiveness. Forgiving yourself and another person will help you both move forward. And it's got to come from both ends, right? Also, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So for some of you, this, there is a new person here and you may need to let go of the past, forgive the past person so that you can move forward, like to accept it and just move forward because there is a potential of relationship to move into something more um, suited for whatever you're seeking. And for others, um, it is about this particular person. Maybe somebody was unavailable um, and you need to forgive that person. And forgiveness, like I always said, releases you from being held back. It's not for the other person. Anything else here for needs to know? Okay, detach with love to clearly see the truth, Virgo. And there's a leap of faith. You need to take a leap of, there's a leap of faith with a past life love. Hmm. Yeah, so you're not being forgotten. I can tell you that. And I do feel like there is somebody here who's gonna, you're like a past person is going to take a leap of faith towards you. Um, after some forgiveness happens, there's a lot of um, somebody accepting that they were emotionally unavailable for a relationship to move forward. Um, somebody's like detaching 
so that they can see that this is true and make changes, forgiving, make changes. Um, somebody wants to take a leap of faith, someone from your past to move something in the right direction here. But I feel like there is a moving on that has to happen first between you and another person. So my battery is almost dead. Let me just, you have a Libra and a Cancer here. Somebody just dyed their hair with ion coloring. Someone's 47. We have 62, 44, September 5th, 86. The month of January is significant for someone. Okay. Someone's name is Finn. All right. That was a D. Where'd it go? Okay. A D. Someone's having dinner. Someone's name is Diane. Daphne. Dion. Dio. Does that mean devil? Somebody's got their fan on. I don't know if you can hear mine. I know I got my fan on. Ian. Frank or Franny. Daniel. Danielle. Danny. Someone's born in the year of the ox. Okay. Naomi. Noel. Don, Donald, Donnie, Donna. Jax or Jack, Jackson. Mm -mm -mm. Did I say Naomi? I think I did. It's coming back again. Dino. I see Dino. Dion, did I say that? Somebody likes Onyx. All right, let's get a couple of charms. Yeah, I'm going to close this out because this battery's about to die, y'all. It's about to die. All right, got a Christmas candle. All right, Christmas. Significant time. Somebody's maybe shopping for Christmas candles for their window. It does have musical notes, so there's a connection to music here. I also see somebody melting candles down. Melting candles. Oh, beautiful. Got a red butterfly for love. Love, love will begin to fly again. Your love will fly. Uh, white diamond. Does have a crab. There might be a cancer significant to you. Um, crab is soft on the inside, hard shell on the outside. There's a cancer who's like real tough. They act real tough, but they're actually a softy. I'm hearing. Actually a softy. Also a spider. Yeah, yeah there's a spider here. Um, Spider-Man? Maybe a connection? Some kind of connection. Or maybe, uh, so we're getting into spider season, obviously, up here in the northern hemisphere. So there is a connection to spiders. Not, I mean, like, you might not be connected to a spider. <laughs> Hopefully you don't find one on you. But be careful if you walk into a spider's web. Oh, yeah. That just... And that's not a web. That's a wheel. But as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, spider's web. Be careful you don't... Like, watch where you're walking. Oh, this is a ship's wheel. And you know what, you guys? They're just showing me. That's so odd. They just showed me, like, a, like a, a ship... Almost like a pirate ship or a ship, but it's on sand or on solid ground. A ship on solid ground. Not there's no. Sh I don't see a ship in water. It's on something solid. I don't know what that means. And they're just showing me a ship on solid ground. It's not sailing. It can't. It's on solid ground. It needs to get into the water to start moving. I'm trying to get to see if I can find a charm that you guys don't, that we don't have. All right. And so, yeah, there's a fox here. Someone's last name might be Fox. There's a connection to foxes. I did see that. F-O-X. Uh, some kind of connection to a fox. Um, it could be an avatar, video game character, actual animal, stuffed animal, toy, anything like that. Or somebody's last name, connection to a fox. Or maybe you see foxes. Or someone thinks you're foxy. <laughs> you're foxy. Foxy lady. Might be somebody's listening to a Jimi Hendrix song. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoy that. Um, don't forget, if you want to click 
to get a personal reading link is in the description box below you can also purchase my timeless readings i have some readings on there up until the 18th i think did i say i was doing that till the 18th uh that are only two bucks so go check those out and um yeah if you want to become a member of my channel i'm going to be changing some of the perks updating the perks so um, keep your eye out for that channel memberships 2.99 per month but if you can't swing it that's fine always you can always swing it you can cancel at any time or come back next time all right you guys have a fantastic awesome monday a fantastic awesome hour whatever i'll see you guys back here soon bye My